welcome back my artistic family I'm feeling better and uh, oh my gosh it kills me to like not have to pour um, it really does it's my therapy I love it it's built in me and uh, I miss you guys and yeah so I'm so happy to be feeling better thank you very much to all of my wonderful subbies who have uh, sent me messages through email and community posts and on comments on videos wishing me well. I appreciate it. And I just want to add to that, guys. You just never know what simple word or choices of words that you say to somebody that's going to really brighten them day and make them feel good. So don't think what you say doesn't matter because it really does. And I really appreciate it. Mwah, mwah, thank you. That being said, today's the big giveaway. So all of you deserving people who watch and comment on my videos and share and like them, thank you again so much. I have my classics here, guys. I'm using the Pebeo Studio Acrylics. Extremely thin, probably about as thin as what I've been doing for my pearl or my Dutch pores lately. And speaking of Dutch pours, they've been turning out fabulous. So if you haven't checked it out, I will also link that video for you. And then I'm also using Pebeo Studio Acrylics um, Silver Iridescence. These are both iridescents. And then I have my Satin Enamel Mix, which has Artist Loft Soft Body White. I put in some um, Decor Satin Enamel. And I didn't, don't measure for this, guys. So when I say I put some in, with my pearl pores, I measure. But when I'm just doing a satin enamel, I don't measure. So I've got some Floetrol in here, some Artisoft Soft Body, and some Deco Art. Just a little bit of Floetrol. Not as much as what I use in with my 1-2-3 Pearl Cell recipe. I have a playlist for that as well. So I will link that as well for you to take a look. But enough gabbing. Although I can do that until the cows come home, guys. But for you guys, I'll save it. <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead, guys, and get going. I can't wait. Ooh, see, I love it. I'm so interested to see how the silver is going to look. This silver, not my artist loft, but this silver in with that and how that sinks and how that provides a lot of interest and depth. And I'm just making it really simple, guys. I always say that, I know that's hard for me to do, and it is, <laughs> because uh, when I'm just putting paints down, just because I love the whole process, I often Put a lot more than what's necessary. Okay. I'm just going to go in here. Okay. And just swirl that around. That's just gorgeous. Like, I love that on its own, just like that. And I don't expect to keep it. When I go in, guys, I don't expect all the time to keep the design. Um, but it actually, you know, does show up in the pour. A little bit more black. A little bit more black. I feel like I need more gold too. Um, but that's all that I have made up. So we will see. We might just have a white painting. Okay, guys. Ready? I am ready. Uh, you know what? You guys know I like to be. I work on the fly a lot. Let's just go around with the leftover black just for fun and a lot of times what's underneath will come through and wouldn't that be cool to get some super cool effects from that.
Okay, so it's time artistic family. I'm on the YouTube picker here. I have uh, the URL set up, which was from my last video, my red wine metallic dip. I asked you guys to comment with 10K giveaway. And I'm going to filter out duplicates and filter comments based on a specific text. So I hope you guys watched all the way through because uh, I want you guys to win. Okay, so there we go. We have 10K giveaway. Uh, duplicate filters have been checked. The YouTube comments. And here we go. Here is the lucky winner. Da, 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 da. So we have Ruth Rosh. I want to say Rosh. 10K giveaway. Thanks for sharing how to paint on glass. Really pretty. Uh, could I cover a glass tray with resin? <laughs> I do remember answering this. So thank you so much, Ruth Rosh. You are the lucky winner. Please contact me if you are watching, hopefully, at Shannon Gibson Art and Designs at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you within two days or so, I will reach out to you to let you know you have won uh, your $75 value. And once Ruth lets me know, guys, that she's received it, I will let you guys know what was in it. I usually like to keep it a mystery and I always like to add a little something personalized in <clears throat> inside for that great savvy so thank you so much Ruth and uh, thank you to all of you guys once again we're now at 11,000 you guys are fantastic I can't say it enough and until next time I'll see you all in the next pour